Journey to the West, Channel 49, The Boy. Wukong is right, said Beiji. We should all go home and forget about reaching the Western Paradise. I will return to my cave and take a nice long nap. Beiji start to walk away. Wu Zhong grabbed away around him. Are you crazy? He looked at Wukong. We can't go home. I know that, said the monkey. I wasn't serious about going home, but I'm angry with the master. Many times I warned him about the demons. He never believed me. If I had listened to me earlier, he wouldn't have been kidnapped. Wukong sighed. We need to figure out where the demon took him. I will summon a local spirit. The monkey closed his eyes and muttered some words. A soft breeze blew and then the spirit appeared. Hello, Sun Wukong, said the spirit. I am the spirit of this mountain. Our master was kidnapped by a demon, said Wukong. We think the demon lives near here, but we don't know where. Oh dear, said the spirit. He looked nervous. Your master was probably kidnapped by the red boy, a very nasty demon. His cave is near the peak of that mountain. We shouldn't go there, folks, the spirit continued. Red boy is very powerful. His father is the bold demon king, one of the most horrible demons ever. A smile spread across Wukong's face and he began to laugh. That is a good news. Everyone looked at Monkey surprised. Why is that good news? asked Wu Jing. The bold demon king is an old friend of mine, said Wu Kong. Before I caused trouble in heaven, I was friends with a group with Demon King. The bold demon king was one of them. When I tell Rebel who I am, he will release the Taomong right away. The traveler said goodbye to the spirit and headed up the mountain. They came to a cave near the peak. The door was closed. Wukong knocked. Open up, Red Boy. I need to speak with you. Door flew open and Red Boy stepped out. Who are you? demanded Red Boy. What do you want? You, you can have our master, the town monk, said the monkey. Please return him to us. The bright noise sported, sorted. I'm not going to return the town monk to you. I'm going to eat him and live forever. And now go away before I get very angry. Wukong laughed. My dear boy, you don't realize what you are talking to. I am Sun Wukong, the Monkey King. Your father and I are old friends. I don't care who you are, said the red boy. Now all of you get off of my mountain. Wukong shook his head, pretending to be disappointed. I was hoping we could solve slope this problem this nicely. He removed the iron board from his ear. Red boy laughed. Do you think I'm scared of your little weapon? If that iron board is a treasure from heaven, said Wukong, I would use to be measure the ocean and rivers. It is very powerful and can do whatever I tell it to do. The monkey puffed out his chest. Now return to town wall as one or I will destroy your entire mountain. I also have a powerful weapon, said Red Boy. I will show it to you. The demon punched himself on his nose. So poor from his nose and sore from his mouth. A moment flame covered the entire mountainside. 